are going to hike on Big Schloss Mountain. We saw a uh, spring on the way up if you want to bring some something to collect spring water with. This is the border of West Virginia and Virginia. So I think we're actually in the West Virginia side here. They have a bathroom here, which is nice. Here's the bathroom, and then the trail goes down this way. So we start off here, there's lots of campground areas. This is the trail. So we think it's like five miles out and back from what we've seen, even though it says two here, so it might be more like two and a half. And you can see on the map where we are. All right, so this is where we're coming in. And then we're just gonna hike up super steep in the beginning, super steep here. Then you get on the ridge and go higher to Big Schloss View. And we did Little Schloss if you search our channel before. That's a northern view. I think this is more like a southern view. You do the south. You can see there are campsites here. People camping. I heard someone blow their nose. People sticking their fingers on here have totally worn the map down. It didn't just rain, but it is kind of muddy here. There's actually a small flowing stream right here through the trail. How do you feel on Denise? Tired. There's starting to be a little view. We're gonna go up to this unnamed peak. We're about a third of the way up there. Then we get to the ridge line. All right, this is definitely getting harder fast. See, I already have my jacket off, so this that Denise already did before, but in the beginning, I was thinking I was glad I brought the jacket. I'm sure I'll need it on the way down or at the top, but not now. Denise has something to add about the weather. I, I don't know why Mike bothered to tell you he took his jacket off. It's only relevant for one day. <laughs> it's 56, you don't need a jacket. You won't need one in July or August either. Well, what about January? That is all. <laughs> this doesn't seem too steep by looking at it but it, i guess i mentioned earlier i didn't put it on this video but it's like someone tilted the earth that's what it feels like and you're just constantly walking uphill i hear something with the squirrel okay there's a lot of rhododendron and azaleas blooming at this time too. It's a good good time to hike. Right after the tree leaves come out. Denise says it's a robin. What is that? I see something in there. Oh. Yeah, it's a bird of some kind. Nobody it's a robin. Nobody needs a video of the robin. 
All right, it's black and orange, so it's not a robin. We're just hallucinating. Because this is much more difficult than it seems. Seems like it's starting to flatten out here. All right, Denise, it seems like it's starting to flatten out. Have you questioned all of your life choices now? Yes. Did, that, did that walk make you do that? Yes. All right, we are about just over three quarters of a mile away and, and you can see the, the worst is over. This is not looking as bad. We just passed this unnamed peak to the right and we're getting close to just being on this ridge and just gradually going up now from this point. All right, here's where it opens up to the ridge line. And I guess we're gonna see views now for a while. Look, I can see stuff on both sides, it looks like. Yeah, I feel a breeze up here. We're gonna be heading up this way. That's where Big Schloss is, up that way. And actually that might be it over there on the right, but there's definitely a breeze and it's much cooler up here. After you get through that, you know, oven of a, uphill just walking off to the side of the ridge line i see this and i'm guessing that's big schloss up there somewhere around there all right we keep seeing these little areas along the ridge line oh yeah this is a really good view there's nothing in the way on this one but there has been there have been trees in the way on other ones you can see that these trees since they're up high are just now getting their leaves we're in may this is may 7th Think that we're hiking this? Yes. Just keep in mind that if it's sunny when you go here, which it may still be on the way back, you're gonna get some sun up here. There's not much of a tree canopy. Yeah, be sure you bring your water bottle and you can get one of these at our store. Just go on the merch tab on the website. Yeah, like, this is the trail, we just go out here like, there's some really good views. Like, I've been on some ridge hikes before, but usually they don't have that many views. This thing has some really good views. There's a little bit of up and down. I guess we're definitely going to have to go up again until we get when we get to a big schloss. Looking more carefully at the trail route, this is consistently downhill actually since we've reached the, the uh, ridge. And then there'll be another section of uphill, definitely an uphill section before we get to the top of the mountain. All right, I think we're beginning the uphill portion now and it'll be all the way uphill from here, not as steep as before, to the top of Big Schloss. Right now we're about one and three quarter miles in almost, and almost an hour altogether. Right, they're the first of the hikers that we've seen. We go off to the right at this point, and we're getting very close. It says just a quarter mile, that's what it says here on the sign. So this is us right here, turning on the big schloss view. Maybe this is a northern view because we're heading north now and I've been wrong on the direction of the view.
there's a view right there. But we keep going. There's a bridge. That's Virginia on that side. And that's West Virginia over on this side. They look the same to me. More views on the West Virginia side. And we keep going up. There's the Virginia side. That's Virginia. All right, so I'm up at the top. Denise is not um, going up with me. She, I can hear her down there. But this is actually the top, even though it's a little bit harder to get to. You can see that's the Virginia view over there. And then I come over this way. There, this behind me, that's West Virginia over that way. But you have to kind of go through some of these rocks to get up here. It's a little difficult. It's a little difficult. Not that bad. We're back down and we've got almost four and a half miles and about two hours of actual hiking, but I think it was more like three hours total time. I think we started around seven o'clock and it's like 10 now. All right, what did you think of this hike, Denise? It's fine, it's very rocky. Uh, the, the hikes are, the, the views are nice, but not amazing. Well, you I didn't go to the top. You didn't go to the top. Anybody, anybody watching this video got to see what Denise did not get to see. So she doesn't know. I would, I highly recommend you do the whole hike and don't change your mind at the last second because it looks a little rocky. But you, so, well, I mean, but overall this wasn't even that long. Was it worth doing? Yeah, it's more fun than mall walking. <laughs> All right, here is the spring I was telling you guys about. On the way up, you can, I guess, bring your own water, right? Someone's right over there getting some water. Yeah, she left a whole milk crate. Yeah, she's got right here. 